Okay, this is the tornado ejection seat, and uh, uh, an example here in the museum. Uh, unlike the Phantom which preceded it, this is a Mark, uh, uh, sorry, a Mark 10 seat, it only had a single bottom handle to eject with. Gone is the top handle that we had on the Phantom. You strapped in with a combined harness, these are the uh, top straps, these are the lap straps, and then there's one at the front there. Um, basically tied around your life jacket which was, uh, which was fitted to you. You connected to the seat on the side here uh, with a personal equipment connector which hung from your life jacket and fitted into this receptacle here and that connected you to the intercom, to the oxygen, to the various G suit functions and the like. Um, it was a zero zero seat so you could eject on the ground stationary and you would expect to, to, to survive that ejection. Um, a little drogue parachute up in the top box here, which came out to stabilise the seat immediately after ejection. And then the main parachute was in your back, and, and that would deploy once you were separated from your seat. And you would then come down, connected to the parachute by this harness here. Attached by a series of restraints, these blue things down the bottom here are called the leg restraints. You would have a set of, of leg restraints around your leg. These would connect to those, and they would pull your legs back into the seat before you ejected to stop your legs from flailing. Equally, you had arm restraints, and those are these things here, and these would actually clip onto uh, connectors on your arm, on your life jacket, and you had arms on your life jacket, sleeves, and then that would pull your arms into your body again to stop your arms from flailing if you ejected. Whilst you were, once you ejected, up the, ra uh, up the rails at about 40 G, so it's quite a punch as you go, which is why people come out a little bit shorter after they've ejected. Um, the barostat would then sense what height you were at, and if you were below 10,000 feet, the parachute would deploy, uh, the seat would fall away, and you would come down under a parachute, connected to your rubber dinghy, which sat in a, a, a receptacle under your bottom here. Um, this would contain your rubber life, life raft, and various other little things like water, and uh, a heliograph, and various other survival aids in that pack under the, uh, under the seat there. Um, obviously, you were on the ground, you wouldn't want this thing to go off, so you had safety pins which fitted into the sears here so that you couldn't actually pull the handle on the ground. Before flight, you would pull those out and you'd stow those in a receptacle in the cockpit, making the seat live. And there were various other uh, pins that you had to pull out around the seat uh, as you went. Great piece of kit, and I'm ever so happy to say I never had to use it.